What's up, friends? I'm with Doug Natosi of Ox Marine, and we got some crazy tech here because we're talking some serious jet technology on your diesel outboards, which in and of itself is pretty cool. Tell me about this technology, Doug, because it's totally different than what yeah, I'm seeing. Yeah, you're, you're looking at the absolute first outboard motor axial flow water jet in the world the highest efficiency water jet on any outboard motor ever designed. We've revolutionized what happened. We take the torque of this beast, this 300 horsepower outboard motor, drive it into an axial flow jet, giving you a one-to-one -to, -one to your prop to thrust. So if you're a 300 horsepower at your prop, you are doing 300 horsepower equivalent in your thrust. Unseen, unheard of in the outboard world ever before. So what's the application like? You think, okay, first of all, it's diesel, which makes it different. Sure. Then we've got the jet technology. What are some examples of boaters that would want this on yeah. the back of their boat? That's a great question, because you got to look at what the application is in the user and what does a jet bring? One, a jet brings greater maneuverability. Okay. A jet is more efficient, gets you out of the hole faster. The jet does not ride below the plane of the bottom of the hull. So there's nothing to strike on an on a oyster bed or on a sandbar. If you're floating, mm. the jet is going through. No ecological damage. We're not gonna rip up the grass beds, which we all know yep. is the lifeblood to our ecosystem. Right. You're not gonna have damage if you of hitting a manatee. No more prop scars or any other sea mammal. There's so many advantages of what a water jet can give you. And the reason the outboard world doesn't do it in the standard, because they run a vertical shaft. You can't take that vertical shaft and spin an impeller. The torque's too great. But right. with diesel and the belt technology, simple solution, high speed, great maneuverability, no damage to the environment. Navy, government, flats fishermen, people that have ultra shallow or anybody else that wants high jet performance. They yeah. call it a jet because yeah. that's what they do. They run like a jet airplane. Speed. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> <laughs> very, very cool. And if you had to look ahead and predict what you foresee for diesel outboards and jet technology, what's your gut telling you is the, is the trend? What do yeah. you see? So, you know, being the president of the company, one of my things is to advise our board what we're seeing in the industry. Yeah. You go back four years ago, we were in an eight by 10 booth. We, we were a startup garage blowing company. Blowing up, <laughs> Marine blowing yeah. up, baby. And, and, and you look now, I mean, you know, we're selling orders. We have fleet customers. When you look at the pictures, completely outfitting, complete fleets, government agencies, realizing that you have a single source fuel, you have low flammability, you have greater range. These engines operating, these diesel engines are 45% cleaner than anything else you see in the show running gasoline. Wow. And if we run these on HVO 100 biodiesel, 92% less carbon emissions polluting our waters. It's huge. Yeah. So where it's going, it's an open book. Yeah, yeah. But I can tell you, since we first met in the yeah. last three, four years, we were selling four or five motors a month. That day is gone. Yeah. Everything's stepping up. Next year, it'll even be bigger and better, more demo boats, and the growth is gonna continue. Yeah, this is awesome, Doug. I'm happy for you, happy for the company. And last question for you, general MSRP for this 300 horsepower. General MSRP, 90,000. About $90,000, all right, man. This and is an equivalent in an inboard, you'd be 160. Yeah, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Bad to the bone, my brother, bad to the bone. Thank you so much, all appreciate right, man. that. Very, very cool, y'all.